there's a picture of this parent. Yeah. Hey guys, check this out. Something going on over at Jerry's old house. Somebody must have called them. There's a couple girls sitting on the ground. Three girls sitting on the ground over there. Yeah. Uh-huh. I'm oh, sorry, I'm in dry. You can hear something. Got them handcuffed. Yeah. They must have been living in there. I wonder who found them. I don't know. Maybe Debbie next door. I don't know. Teenagers. That must be a parent. Oh, they're going inside. Oh my, poor Jerry, you know. I need to do something with this friggin' house. Never a dull moment around our house. Looks like they got two of them cuffed. Oh, I think all three of them are cuffed. He might not have done anything. The other two might have. Those two look older than this one. Damage. Probably. They're taking them in the house. Yeah. Yeah, releasing them to the parents. Mm -hmm. They done something in there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well somebody called because he said that. He said, Well we had a call.
we should probably talk to them. The cabinets are there. They're not all here. Or if they are, they're scattered through the house. What a shame. Is this door No, they locked it back up. So we must have broke a window, eh? My God. <sighs> Look at that. Oh my God. They just threw anything and everything. That officer was right. Anything that wasn't screwed down got thrown and busted. <coughs> Jesus. Unbelievable. No respect for anybody. Unbelievable. Holes in the wall. Yeah. Oh, I wonder what the bedroom's like. You know the fridge is still here? Yep. Holy crap. I thought they would have took it. The family? God almighty, what a mess. Yep, this, this room's tore up. Is it? Mm-hmm. TV God? Yeah. Okay, guys, so that's what happened. They, uh, them three teenage girls went into Jerry's old house. And like the deputy said, as we talked to him, and he said there wasn't anything that wasn't screwed down that wasn't busted or thrown through the wall, so. What a shame. Three teenage girls. Yeah. I'm just about tired of people messing around over there like that. <clears throat> yeah. You know? People have no respect for us. That's people. flat out, you know, yeah. That's just flat out vandalism. Man. As far as I'm concerned, they should be all three be arrested and put in jail. Well, for a see, while. it's going, getting ready to go through the bank and they have to do it, so. Yeah. The cops can't do it because they don't own the place, so. Yeah. All they can really do is take a report, get their information, make them leave, you know? Yeah. And then it's up to the bank to press charges on them, so. Which they figured the bank won't. Probably not. No. But uh, that was my main concern right there is what, you know, what's going to happen to the house. Is, is it going to be like yours, you know? Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, my, mine was like that. And that's how I got a good deal on it. Yeah, our, our house was in bad shape. She's got pictures. I still got to do a video of that. She's got one out. Yeah. Before and after. It was in a lot worse shape than that one, than Jerry's. But, man. There's pictures of his family, his parents, and they're all over the floor. You know, the, all his stuff was still there. I don't know what the family took, but the, whatever they took, they took in a U-Haul, and they haven't been back since. Well... Yeah, so. but they gave a lot of it away, the washer and dryer and all that shit got given away. Yeah. So. I don't know But, what like, they his did. clothes are still, you know, there's still clothes hanging in there. and It's it's just a shame, you know. It's going to be to the point where no one's going to buy the place. I know. Yeah. And I even called them and told them, you know, there was people trying to move in there. They need to do something. They need to put it up for sale. And well, no more Mr. Nice Guy here, because I'll tell you, next time I catch somebody in there, I'm putting them on the ground. Well, we heard a bang. We heard, heard we it. We heard it, yeah. And, um, and even Bruna barked. Yeah, we heard something, but we looked out. Wasn't no one here. Of course, we couldn't see inside the house. There wasn't no cars around here. Nah. But the neighbors heard it, too, and they're a lot closer than we are, so they heard a lot more stuff going on that we didn't, that we couldn't hear. Right. She called They the heard cop. stuff being broken, and so she called. Yeah, she called the cops. So, yeah. 
it's ridiculous. Insane. You know, this ain't urban exploring. They actually broken that back window to get in. Yeah. This is just flat out vandalism, being mean. Yeah. I mean, you know, that's that was somebody's home at one time, you know. That's why when I do the urban exploration, I have respect, you know. Yeah. When we go into places, we have respect for that, man. Don't go in there and start doing that stuff. No. Three teenage girls, one of them lives down here at the end of the street. Yeah. Yeah, I found out that she lives right down the road, and I figured that all three of them were probably sleeping over, and, and then they came up this way. No, it was a Sunday morning. It doesn't matter. Yeah. It doesn't matter. They were in there, and they did it. Mm-hmm. You know? So. And they call their parents and let them go home with their parents, but they all got ticketed or something. They're supposed to appear in court, so we'll I don't know. I don't know if we'll even find out what happened. Well, I don't think they got anything. He said there was nothing they could do. No, they all got papers, so I don't know. Parents were all given papers. Yeah, that's the reports so. that, you know, they're not ticketed. I mean, the cops can't do anything without the owner's consent. Mm -hmm. That's what he said, you know, he said our hands are tied. All we can do is, is you know, file a report. So that's the papers that they were given to them is what they were gonna file. <laughs> but I think these but. banks should be charged because they should be allowed to leave these houses empty for so dang long without putting it back up for sale or whatever they gotta do. They just hold and drag it and drag it for many years. Well, and by the time yeah, it's but finished, once the bank, once it, once it's in the bank, though, the problem is they are technically owners. So there's no law saying you have to live in a house. But by the time they finish selling it, there's nothing left. I understand that, but it's just like anybody else. If they own a home and they go up north, decide to live up there, they're still allowed to own it down here. It doesn't have to be occupied. But yeah, they, I mean, they're taking care of it. They have it mowed once a week and all that, but. Once a month, you know, they got in slacker. So, but what can you do? It's a shame. Yeah, but there's only so much they can do. You yeah. know, they can't hire somebody to come and watch a house 24 seven, you know? I mean, you can't do that. Yeah. It's just, it's a shame. Mm. Oh well, anyway, that's what happened, so. Mm. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. Make a sit yourself for now, y'all. Bye. Share better than the man legend. I'm gone for now. We'll see you.